Today we're opening eight Force of the Breaker special editions that have Invasion of Chaos. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video and in today's video we have Force of the Breaker that includes Invasion of Chaos or sort of original, I guess it's original print, I don't know, this, these came out in like 2007 I think, so I'm not really sure what, if these are like a different print, they probably are, actually these might be EN packs, we're gonna find out in just a second, but this is gonna be a really fun opening because we have Force of the Breaker which is a fun set and then of course Invasion of Chaos, everyone loves to open those and there's a couple cards I need out of here that I need for my deck, so hopefully we'll pull them. But before that we have a giveaway in honor of the 2022 Mega probably being out by the time you see this or about to come out we have a 2021 mega 10 i don't have the 22 22 mega 10s yet so we can't give those away but we're giving away a 10 from last year all you have to do is like this video be subscribed turn on notifications let me know what you want to see from these blisters a lot of good options i want to see ryu koki i need that for my zombie deck i also need berserk gorilla ooh, ooh, ah, ah. let's try and get him all right let's get into the opening eight of these i'm gonna go ahead and rip these open so you guys don't have to watch me do this because these are painfully just Painfully painful to open. All right, we got everything out. We got our promos of Winged Rhinos and Phantom Beast Rock Lizard. They actually look pretty nice for the most part. Okay, that one's a little bit messed up, but they have this weird, like, slimy texture just like they did for a little bit on the printing of Yu-Gi-Oh! back then, but we have eight Invasion of Chaos here. We're going to see if these are EN packs, which would be interesting to see. And then we have 16 Force of the Breaker. I assume that these... Oh, wait, these don't have retail interesting there's no hobby retail with force of the breaker i always forget that so that means we could pull some big stuff out of here like the volcanic doomfire which would be pretty awesome even in unlimited i'd love to pull that one all right let's get right into it this is gonna be a fun opening last time we did one of these with the strike of neos if you missed that go check it out it was um it was a little bit weird so let's see if we can make this one less weird and more exciting that's what we want we want exciting let's see if we can pull something good force of the breaker is one of those sets that i am not familiar with like at all we have barely opened any of it throughout the course of the channel we've opened a booster box i think once or something just not a bunch of of it so let's see if we can pull something good crystal raigeki that is not uh the same as raigeki that's a crystal raigeki not as good secrets of the gallant pretty cool volcanic blaster the crystal blessing hard selling zombie he's like he's really trying to sell you something there that's pretty cool we got the gravity crush dragon wildfire pretty cool and we have a soul of fire that's a pretty beautiful looking super rare not gonna lie i don't really remember this one too well i think i've seen it a couple times it's just one of those ones that reminds you of like dragon ball z or something some anime or whatever so pretty cool super rare. it's a good start because last time we didn't pull a lot of foils next up let's do one invasion of chaos let's see if these are en packs i'll show you what i mean if they actually are en and it seems like they are so you, you see the abbreviation there en i bet my friend gezi will be interested in some of these cards i'm gonna hit him up after that see if he wants any but if we pull the ryu koki or the berserk gorilla we are keeping it so let's just keep going be gone nay very nice we got the amphibious bug roth mk3 very nice oh a ryu koki already so i need this i think i needed one or two more i can't remember how many because i'm making a goat format zombie deck which i really like so i'm gonna pull that one aside very nice we got a grimaju de Isa, tower of babel Giga Gaga Giga. Very nice. We've got a Fenrir. And can we pull a nice secret rare? We have, ooh, dedication through light and darkness. I have not pulled this card in a very long time. That's an EN foil. That's beautiful. Okay. Very nice. Okay. That looks really, really good. Super rare. Pretty nice pull there. Okay. EN cards. You love to see it. These are EN as well, but that's not like that unusual. That's just how it was, you know, when these first came out. For IOC, EN was not a thing when it first came out. It was just IOC dash, whatever the number was. So the EN variant is a little bit more rare, not more rare, but it's a little bit, it's it's niche to collect, but it's like a rare variant, I guess you could say. We have the Volcanic Recharge. I think they only came out of these blisters, so not very, very common to see. Volcanic Recharge, the Crystal Beast, Ruby, Carbuncle. Crystal Promise, very nice. The Volcanic Scatter Shot. We got Crystal Beast in here, which is cool because, you know, all the Crystal Beast stuff coming out. Last Resort, but that was a Ruxin Special, by the way. The Amber Mammoth, Crystal Abundance. Somebody asked the other day in the comments, when was your first Ruxin Special? I have no idea. You guys have to go back and find it if you want to figure it out. If you do figure it out, though, let me know. I want to know. And then we have a Heart Cell and Zombie and a Volcanic Shell. Okay, not a terrible card there. The thing about the Rux and Special is I didn't always open cards like the way I'm opening right now. I used to open cards from the side. Now I open them one at a time. So I'll show you guys what I mean. Okay, let's take this Force of the Breaker pack. We have double the Force of the Breaker pack. So we're going to do two in a row of these. So I used to open them this way like this. 
But now I do it like this because I think it's more fun to reveal it that way. Because if you open this way, sometimes you kind of show what's going to come, you know, next. So it's a little bit better and like doesn't reveal the cards as quickly. Secret of the Gallant. I also like doing this, you know, I like doing it for the old stuff, not necessarily the new stuff because it gets, you know, tedious and it hurts your arm. The Tornado because it's much harder to pull this way than, you know. Okay, let's just keep going. Yeah, <laughs> you guys don't care about this. Last resort. We got the Crystal Beast Amber Mammoth. Very nice. Crystal Abundance. Let's see if we can pull something good. Hard Selling Zombie. There's Ultimate Rares in this set, so I would love to pull one. Let's see what it's going to be. Oh, an ultimate rare volcanic slicer. Right as I asked for it, I received it. An ultimate rare volcanic slicer. I don't even know what this card's worth. What does this even do? If like a 500 damage to your opponent, if you activate this effect, this card cannot attack. Dur oh, it just burns. It's a four star 1800. That doesn't seem that terrible, actually. Okay, a little bit of burn damage for free every single turn. That could be interesting. That's kind of an interesting card. Really beautiful ultimate rare. Okay, we've already got an ulti. This is already better than last time. All right, let's go to an IOC. Can we get a Berserk Gorilla or another Ryu Koki? Um, I don't have, I somehow don't have any Berserk Gorillas lying out. I'm sure I do. I just can't find them, but I need some Berserk Gorillas, which, you know, they're not that expensive. They actually are worth, I think, over a dollar, though. So they have a little bit of value. Let's see, we have a Jade Insect Whistle because they are pretty decent in those old school decks. We got a Sacred Crane. Cursed Seal of Forbidden Spell. Gigantus, very nice. Zero gravity. These EN cards are sick. Witch Doctor of Chaos. Chop Man, the desperate outlaw. He's desperate. He's chopping. We got the yellow luster shield. And we have a Curse of Darkness. EN IOC card. All right. Very nice. Back to Force of the Breaker, which has already blessed us with one ultimate rare. These are out of special editions, by the way. So keep in mind, I mean, we could have a tons of ultimates. Like if we get lucky enough, it's completely random ratios, you know, because it's out of a blister. So, you know, blister slash special editions, crazy ratio sometimes. Sometimes, sometimes really terrible like last time secrets of the gallant volcanic blaster tornado this is the last time they printed the volcanic stuff isn't it you know and they haven't had any sort of uh, pyro support or anything crystal beacon crystal beast cobalt eagle very nice the gym flash energy and we have Ooh, Zeradius, Herald of Heaven, Zeradius. All right, pretty cool. Nice Zeradius card there. Let's go back to another Force of Breaker. This one's a little jumbled up. Let's see if we can pull something good. I would love to pull Volcanic Doomfire. That would be so cool because the ulti looks absolutely amazing. Even in Unlimited, it would be pretty amazing. We have the Overworld, the A-Zone. Pretty cool. Volcanic Recharge. Crystal Beast Ruby Carbuncle. We're pulling a lot of that one. The Crystal Promise. Is this a small set? I really don't know. GX tends to have smaller sets, so it probably is. Mass Hypnosis, uh, the Master of Barriers, Crystal Blessing, Hard Selling Zombie at it again, and we have a... Ooh, Sky Scourge, Invasil, super rare. This went to crazy prices a few years ago for... I don't even remember why, but apparently... It got really expensive for the ulti. It's like $120 or something like that. It was ridiculous. Back to IOC EN packs. Let's see what we can pull. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We're destroying this pack. Let's try not to completely destroy it. We have one, two, three, four. Can we pull something good? We got the Prickle Fairy. We got the Coach Goblin. Granadula. Soul Absorption. Uh-oh, Rux and Special. We got the Fiend's Hand Mirror. Molten Zombie. Soul Tigre. Very nice Soul Tigre with 2100 defense. Primal Seed. And can we get another ulti? We have a Fuma Shuriken. Wait, ulti. This is IOC. Never mind. <laughs> Just a, any foil, I guess, out of this one. Another IOC dud. That's okay, though. We have more Force of the Breaker to make up for it. Now can we pull another ulti? Because, yeah, an ulti at IOC. Let me know in the comments. Who would have loved ultis in the original sets? Imagine, like, uh, an IOC, ulti CED, ulti BLS, you know, LOB, ulti Dark Magician, Blue Eyes, um, and Metal Raiders, the ulti Summon Skull, all that stuff. It would have been really cool. I wish they had done it. Kind of like the OCG did. Secrets of the Gallant. We have Volcanic Blaster, Tornado, Introduction to Gallantry, Mass Hypnosis, Maycow, Master of Barriers. We got the Crystal Blessing. Hard selling zombie in every single pack. And we have a Zeradius, Herald of Heaven. Back at it again. We've got that same card again. Very nice. Not really. We want to get a better one. We want to get something good. Can we get another foil out of here? Let's go. Force of the Breaker. I'm trying to think of other cards that I would want. I don't know this set very well. Oh, Ryza. Ryza ulti that would be insane volcanic hammer we got a terrible deal yeah he looks like it's a terrible deal the summon skull looks happy though so summon skull the skull servant i should say dweller in the depths other world the a zone magnus slash dragon blaze accelerator yeah i have one of these in super from champion pack they're crazy price it's ridiculous and then we have a mass hypnosis is it the next nope 
the Kaiku, Maiku Master Barriers, and we have a Archfiend General. I thought this was that guy again, the uh, Zeradius. It's the same stats, it's the same exact stats. That's really, really weird. Oh, it's just the same card. It just, you discard it and you get the field spell. It's just for Pandemonium instead of uh, the uh, the fairy one. So let's go to IOC. These definitely look different, these EN packs. Can we get a Berserk Gorilla or a Ryukoki? One, two, three, four, let's do this. We have Earth Chant, very nice. The thing in the crater. Energy Drain, Chaos Sork, that's pretty cool in the EN card. Sea Serpent Warrior of Darkness, a warrior who defends the world of the Sea of Darkness. He prides himself on the fighting prowess, both on the ground and, of course, in the water. So he has fighting prowess, and also the Insect Warrior, or whatever his name is, has, has prowess as well. So I wonder whose prowess would win. I mean, he has less attack, so I guess the Insect Warrior. Chaos End, Big Koala, very nice. Blazing and Bocce, and what will we get? A Getsu Fuma. All right. So we have Fuma Shuriken in IOC and then Getsu Fuma in Force. Wait, no, that's also in IOC. Okay. Why do I never know what we're opening right now? I don't know. I'm losing it. Okay. Force of the Breaker. Now I know we are opening Force of the Breaker. Keep that in mind. Don't mess it up. Do not mess it up. By the way, I think we're going to have like a new tin code. So if you guys want to check out the new Mega Tins, uh, we're going to have a new tin code. I don't know what it is yet. It's going to be popping up on the screen though. And it's like even better deal than the current uh, Mighty Ruxin tin. I think the tin code is going to be Special Ruxin. I don't know exactly what it does. So go type it in and see what, see what it gives you. But okay, Anika Recharge, we've got the Crystal Beast Ruby Carbuncle. But the new tins are coming out. Amazing print, like reprints and stuff like that. So go check it out. Uh, the Volcanic Scatter Shot. Hard Cell and Zombie, the Crystal Beast Emerald Tortoise, Crystal Beacon, very nice, the Crystal Beast Cobalt Eagle, and we have a Elemental Hero, the Emerald Elemental Hero Captain Gold Ultra Rare. That's pretty cool, an Elemental Hero. It's not an ulti, which this could be an ulti, which would be really nice, but it's a Captain Gold, which is also pretty sick, so we'll take that. Ultra Rare is very nice. All right, and speaking of those tens, guys, if you do check out the affiliate links with Sassy Auto and use that code, it also benefits the channel, so go check it out out if you guys are going to buy tins and you haven't bought them yet you know i appreciate if you use the link very much appreciated let's see if we can pull an ulti to celebrate the new tins we have a tornado introduction to gallantry we got the seismic crasher field barrier blaze accelerator mass hypnosis nice my cow master barriers again the crystal blessing we've pulled a lot of these cards multiple times and we have a lucky iron axe not so lucky this time but uh it's an iron axe that's lucky apparently okay four ioc packs left we have more than that for force the break we have like six or seven let's go let's see what we can pull one two three four let's pull a big one we have a desk kangaroo the prickle fairy coach goblin soul absorption crimson ninja pinch hopper griffin's feather duster Inferno, and we have a Ooh, an insect princess. All right, it's an EN card. Probably the worst ultra in the set, but uh, pretty cool card still. I mean, it's a classic ultra rare. We can't complain about an EN ultra rare. Probably don't see these very often. Pretty nice, pretty sick. I'll take it. I'm not I'm definitely not upset compared to how we did last time. We're doing a lot better this time. All right, FOTB. This is your time to shine. You've already pulled an ulti, uh, but they just pulled an ultra. Can you match it or can you improve on it with another ulti? Let's go. One, two, three, four. I believe we can do it. We have a volcanic recharge. Crystal Beast, Ruby Carbuncle with a print dot right there. That is weird. A weird looking one, too. Crystal Promise. We got a Volcanic Scattershot. Man, we are pulling the same cards. Last Resort. Crystal Beast, Amber Mammoth. We've never seen that one today. Crystal Abundance. And we have one more. Heart Cell. Wow. Whoa. Is that a card? I've never seen that one before. Okay. And... A triggered summon. The summon is triggered. All right, Force of the Breaker. Let's do this. Let's pull something big. Let's pull something epic. I'm ready for the Volcanic Doomfire. Let's do it. Or, of course, the Ryza. Even a Super Rare would be cool. Secrets of the Gallant. We got the Volcanic Blaster, Tornado, Introduction to Gallantry, the Crystal Beacon, Crystal Beast, Cobalt Eagle. Very nice. The Gym Flash Energy. Nice. Breakthrough. And can we pull something good? We have a Go Go the Gallant Ninja. All right. It's just a rare. So, yeah, not too crazy there, but it's a Go Go. Three more IOC. What can we get? So far, what have we pulled? Insect Princess and a Super. It's actually pretty good ratio. I'm not going to lie. We can pull a Ryu Koki. Can we pull another one? We're pulling all the same commons out of uh, Force of the Breaker. Can we pull another Ryu Koki here? That'd be nice. Gigantus, we got a multiplication of ants, pretty cool. The uh, Terror King Salmon, we've got the uh, Hero Emerges, uh oh. Blasting on the Ruins, nice. We got the Chaos Necromancer, Neo Bug, a huge bug like monster said to come from another planet. It gathers in swarms. Creepy, I can't even imagine seeing that. Salvage, okay, we're gonna salvage this opening with an amazing pull right here. 
Oh, a Manticore of Darkness. That's pretty cool. Okay. Another Ultra Rare. Okay, we're having pretty good ratios here. I mean, just imagine if it was actually the good Ultras. It would be insane right now, but Manticore of Darkness is pretty amazing. We will take that. I am a big fan. Manticore of Darkness. We're looking good now. FOTB. Let's do this. Let's see what we can get. We got, I think, seven total more packs. Five more FOTB. Two more IOC. Let's go. Backs to the wall. Our backs are to the wall. Can we pull something big to end the opening? Cell breeding device we got a volcanic hammer shot we got a terrible deal gravity crush dragon wild fire the last resort very simple names here which is nice they saving me a lot of uh, breath here crystal beast amber mammoth and a recurring nightmare secret rare okay i don't know if i've ever seen this card before the secret rares from like these kind of sets where they had ultis and secrets like i don't know that well so this is pretty cool it's like two dark monsters zero defense in your graveyard return them to your hand i don't know if that's ever been good it seems like maybe in some situations it could be okay but i don't know we'll take that it's a secret that's pretty good we got an ulti a secret and ultras today pretty solid opening definitely happy with how this is going compared to the last blister opening i think we're doing a lot better than that and especially if like these were you know a little bit better you know we could have gotten a little bit better options from our rarities like we're getting good rarities but not the great cards we could add crazy opening seismic crasher field barrier crystal raigeki we got the crystal beast cobalt eagle gym flash energy we got the breakthrough the magna slash dragon and is this the next one Oh, Sky Scourge Imbecile, a double, okay. So we got a double super rare, but we will take that. We were pulling a lot of foils today, like a ton of foils right now, which is, I'm never going to complain about that. That's pretty good. Let's do one more Force of the Breaker, and we'll go back to IOC. What will it be? Can we get something epic? I have one, two, three, four. Crystal Promise. Okay, Volcanic Scattershot. Let's get another ulti before it ends. Come on, Crystal Raigeki, Secret of the Gallant, Crystal Beast, Cobalt Eagle, the Gym Flash Energy, Breakthrough. We have a Magnus Slash Dragon, and we have a Go Go, the Gallant Ninja. Go Go. He's going to go go. Four packs to go. Let's go into an IOC. Invasion of Chaos. So far, two Ultra Rare pulls. Can we get a Secret Rare pull to end this off? Or another ultra. I'm down for that. That would be pretty cool as well. Let's go. One, two, three, four. All right. Multiplication of ants. I don't know how these EN packs work. I think you can pull both because there's an EN CD. I know that for sure. So I guess you can pull that. Syracuse Salmon. Recycle. We've got the A Hero Emerges. Salvage. We've got the Dimension Distortion. Sylphid. Fiend's Hand Mirror. And we have a Enraged Battle Ox. Where is the Berserk Gorilla? Come on, man. Where is he? Three packs to go. We still need, I think, one more right Koki, but I could already have two. I'm not really. No, I have two, I think. So I think we're good on that. So I just need Berserk Gorilla. Okay. Let's go. Ultimate Rare. I believe we can do this. We have a Crystal Beast Ruby Carbuncle. Oh, it has the same print dot. That's weird. Right under the C. Crystal Promise. This has a dot too. What's going on? Well, Candy Scatter Shot. Crystal Raigeki. Oh, we got a Ruxa Special Gravity Crush Dragon. Wildfire. Crystal Blessing. Hard Selling Zombie is always the card before the foil. Like every single time. And we have a radiant mirror force that's pretty cool that's probably one of the first mirror force retrains ever made so super rare radiant mirror force that's pretty sick tons of foils out of this opening today which is pretty cool two packs to go we're going force the breaker we'll finish with ioc let's see if we can end it on an ulti that would be an amazing way to end this come on let's go let's pull something big one two three four we have volcanic hammer a little dot up there as well crazy terrible deal we have the dweller in the depths other world in the A zone. We got the Crystal Blessing. Hard selling zombies back at it again. He's not for the foil, though. Gravity Crush Dragon, the Wildfire. I think it's the next card. And. Oh, a Tri Blaze Accelerator. Actually, a pretty cool super rare. So we pulled tons of supers out of those packs. So we also got an ulti and a secret. So I can't complain about the Force of the Breaker packs. They were pretty good. Unfortunately, none of those supers were Ryza, which would have been cool. But here we go. IOC Invasion of Chaos. Let's do this. Can we pull something big to end it off? Secret rare, I believe. We have the Balloon Lizard. Very nice. Chaos Greed. Stealth Birde. We've got the Thing and the Krator. Sea Serpent Warrior of Darkness. He has battle prowess. Let's go. Dawn Turtle. Very nice, Dawn. Chaos End. And is it the next? No. Big Koala. And here we go. Final pack. Final card. We have a Compulsory Evacuation Device. Pretty good card, but unfortunately not what we're looking for. But overall, I think we pulled a ton of foils. How many was it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, that's a little bit ridiculous. 11 foils out of 24 packs actually insane if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this shout out to choice 333 nightshade gaming yt hayden jameson squirtle hoppus flexi boy dizzy ernesto d 
Deanda, Puffins of Doom, TCG Trust of Cards, JT Cho, Tomato Juice, Daxter, Tone Fo Show, and then as High Show, Christopher Ward, Ian Musa, John Nolan, Junior Barding, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Seth Fisher, Stanley, Thomas McLean, and Tone Z. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.